This lesson, I want to talk about copying and pasting data, uh, not formulas, but just data. Uh, so labels and numbers only. Um, formulas will be a totally different lesson. So they ref also refer to this as reusing data. Um, so essentially, you got something in one spreadsheet and you want to move it over somewhere else. A um, bunch of things you need to know, I suppose. Um, first of all, good old copy and paste is pretty much what we're talking about here, essentially. So when you're, um, I have a few sheets here and I just want to practice some stuff. Um, I'm going to go back to this sheet here. And if I, I have a huge amount of data here and I want to select all of this. So I'm going to select it all and I'm going to copy it and put it on the clipboard. Okay. So you get the marching ants across here. That's what it looks like. It's letting you know that that's on the clipboard. And now if I bring it into, let's say sheet two here, when you're pasting, do not try to paste back into that exact range. I see that often. It's a big mistake. You need only select the first cell where you want it to start, and then you can paste. Now, you have a, a, an incredible amount of options when you're pasting. Um, if you bring this down, all of these mean something different. If you want to see the menu, just go to Paste Special, and here you will see the menu. Now, we're not going to exhaust everything in this menu in this particular lesson, but just understand that you've got some options here. Um, we're going to start with just a basic copy and paste. So I'm just going to hit cancel here and I'm just going to go regular paste and get everything that we had. Now, one that I like to follow this up with is uh, often I'll go back right away and I'll say, give me the column widths as well, right? So then it'll go through your entire area and it'll adjust the widths to what they were supposed to be. Uh, so those are two very basic, simple, easy ones that you can use. The next thing you need to know is um, if you copy and paste on top of existing data, it will replace that data. So if I come back to let's say production one and I let's let's assume this is brand new data and I'm going to copy this and let's say I'm going to go to sheet two now. If I click here and I hit paste, it's not even going to ask me any questions. It's simply going to replace everything that was there with the new stuff. The old stuff is gone. That fast, that easy, no questions asked. So understand that if you're pacing on top of existing stuff, it will be gone. If you don't want that to happen, if you want it to be bumped, then you need to do something entirely different. So I'm gonna come back here and make sure this is still on the clipboard. And I know that it is. So I don't have to recopy this because I see the marching ants here and I know that I can still paste. Now, paste as many options as it has. One of them isn't bump. All right, it's not there. For some crazy reason, you gotta come over here and it appears as though I'm no longer in a clipboard. So let me go back here and strangely enough, hold on, I'm just gonna hit copy again. And now when I come here and I go to insert, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see that insert copied cells and I wasn't getting it before. So by recopying, uh, it came back up. So I wanna insert copied cells and this is where I get the ability to bump. Now, of course, they don't use the word bump. That would be too easy. They're, they're using shift. So this asking, do you want me to shift cells to the right or down? So I'm going to go down instead. And now I've copied and pasted and I bumped or shifted the original down. And depending on what you're using, that might have been exactly what you wanted to do. Instead of trying to create exactly the amount of rows that you need or want ahead of time, it will just um, intuitively, naturally, intelligently bump whatever's there over either to the right or down. So I find that to be a very handy, relatively new feature. I wish the option was in paste. Sadly, it's not. You've got to go over there instead. Now, a couple other lessons that I want to go over here. I'm just going to delete this selection because I need this area. Uh, I chose this particular sheet be, uh, for this explanation because it kind of works for me. Here I have, um, let's say they're uh, production sheet, right? So I have all these employees here and the days that they worked and I have their totals. Management doesn't like to look at all this stuff. They want to see summaries. So we're going to create a nice, neat little summary and we're going to practice some of these cool copy and paste features that we have. So I'm going to select these labels here. So I'm going to select the days and I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come over to sheet two 
And what I'm going to do is I want a nice summary this way. So I'm going to ask for paste special and I'm going to ask to tra transpose that. Transpose means whatever I had across, I want it to go down. Or if it was down, it would make it across. So I'm going to just go OK. So now that just did what's called copy, paste, transpose. Very, very handy. I'm going to go back to this original sheet. And now I want to grab the totals. And I want to do the same thing. Okay. Now, this lesson is not on copying and pasting formulas. This is for another lesson. But let me just explain to you real quick. If I copy and paste this formula into another area, the, it will change the formula and it will no longer mean what it's supposed to. Okay, so those numbers will not come. I can demonstrate just so that you believe me here. If I paste this now, if I go paste transpose, those formulas are going to be messed up. All right. So what I wanted to do instead, what I need to do instead in this particular case is I'm just going to copy this again just to make sure I got the right stuff. And then I'm going to do a, a, a transpose as well. I'm going to transpose, but I'm going to ask that only the values come. I don't want the formulas, only the values. And then I'm going to hit OK. So now I've got a beautiful little summary. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit of that massive worksheet that management can actually deal with. All right, so they got a summary of that entire sheet and they know exactly. And if they wanted to, they could, they could chart this right and figure out who's in, which employees are doing the best. They could sort it. They can do whatever they want with it. But um, th those two things are really important that you know the fact that you can transpose uh, data uh, and the fact that you can ask for not the formulas, but only the, the, the data uh, that was in there. A um, couple more things that I want to address. All right, I switch exercises here so I can demonstrate this last way of, uh, uh, I guess, putting in uh, new uh, information instead of copying and pasting. Here I've got a, a, an example that I use with uh, one of my courses. This is a budget exercise where people create a budget. And uh, in this exercise, I have uh, the students here are spending $150 a month on food and fun. And... Um, Here we go. And they want to know if they can spend more, right? Everybody wants to spend a little bit more. So rather than change all 50 or so occurrences of 150 in this huge sheet, you can easily go here and go to find and replace. And here we would enter 150. Now, um, rather than use this menu, I, I don't trust it this small. Bad things happen. Ask to see the options. And here are two things you want. You want to Maybe not match case, but match entire cells. Because if you say find 150 and replace with 200, it'll find any value that happens to have 150 in it and replace it. You don't want that. So here we want to say match entire cell contents, right? And you'll probably want to start in the column in which you happen to be. Uh, and I, I'll even actually just start at the very top and let it know that kind of let it know that I'm looking in this column here and I would go to replace and I would say find 150 and 200 is probably going to be too high. So can I spend 160 instead? And then I would say replace all. And it's telling me that it's replaced 52. And it's like copying and pasting, uh, only it, it did a find and it replaced. And then my students or this person whose budget this happens to be would scroll down just to ensure that they're not going into the negatives and they're not, right? So by adding another $10 to their weekly spending, they're not going under. And if they wanted to try to go even further, they could try going 160. So find all of those and replace with 170. And they can try replacing that. All right. And here they would probably find out that they probably would run out of money at some point. It's getting really close. Yep. Right here they go underneath. So that's not going to work. They'd be able to close this. They would say undo and then stick at 160 and they know they'll get away with that. So Yet another way of replacing existing data.